Published, 1808 Eastern Standard Time, the 5th of January the 2018. Updated, 1808 Eastern Standard Time, the 5th of January 2018. The Ashes sledging that disfigured the start of the series will be raised at the 1200th World Cricket Committee meeting that follows the Sydney Test. The inappropriate comments made to Johnny Bairstow in Brisbane, verbal attacks against Steve Smith in Adelaide and David Warner's outburst in Melbourne, are considered times when players from both sides went over the top, even by Ashes standards. An MCC, who control the laws of the game as well as being cricket standard bearers for fair play, intend to take advantage of new member, umpire Kumar Dharmasena, who was in the middle at Melbourne and Sydney, joining their influential pressure group. Dharmasena will be asked his opinion on the sledging and whether anything should be done about it. Umpire Kumar Dharmasena will be asked his opinion on the sledging at the start of the Ashes. Other subjects on the two-day agenda at the SEG include cricket taking part in the Olympics. MCC fully support the initiative as do the ICC, but committee member Surav Ganguly and the rest of India still need to be convinced. And a long-discussed World Test Championship every four years is expected to gain approval at the meeting, chaired by Mike Gatting for the first time. Cricket Australia are normally spot on with their marketing strategies, but not for the upcoming one-day series against England. There, Eat England, billboard poster boy has been Glenn Maxwell, who was a surprise omission from the Aussie squad. A CA spokesman said the campaign poster was produced well in advance of selection. Surav Ganguly is yet to be convinced about cricket being included in the Olympics and he only has to look at the Middlesex fixtures for next season to discover how far Red Bull, four-day county championship games have fallen down the list of ECB priorities. Eight of their 14 championship fixtures will be played in early season April and May or late season September, while a night starts on August 29. No wonder England have a dearth of spinners and fast bowlers. England cricket operations manager Phil Neal looks the most vulnerable of the backroom staff if changes are made. There is talk of bringing in a tour manager to instill discipline and Neal's role could be handled by a less senior ECB employee, as it will be during the upcoming one-day series. In any case, Neil, 63, is working in Sydney on his 230th test in charge of logistics and might be keen to retire. Meanwhile, after the drink-related incidents that have stained this tour, it's worth noting that the England one-day side who have arrived in Australia have a bigger reputation as boozers. England cricket operations manager Phil Neal looks vulnerable if staff changes are mad. Smith Raps PCA greeting the Professional Cricketers Association have been castigated by one of their own members for spending £2,000 on an online Christmas greeting. David Smith, respected former Leicestershire and North Ants chief executive posted on the PCA Facebook site, have to say given the awful behaviour of some PCA members throughout 2017, I could have found a far more subtle way of wishing us a happy new year. Not sure what direction the PCA is going at the moment, but they are certainly not evolving as an organisation, Smith added that as a member of the PCA for 43 years he was appalled with the unnecessary expenditure. A PCA spokesman said the Christmas card deal was a contra deal connected with a team bonding away day for the staff. National selector James Whitaker, who somehow kept his job after the Kevin Peterson exile saga, looks like he will also survive this Ashes debacle. Doard Mallon was a successful pick, the jury is still out over batsman James Vince and Mark Stoneman but Tom Curran does not look a good enough bowler in Australian conditions. One question still to be answered is what Whitaker carries in the black man bag he carries everywhere. National selector James Whitaker looks like he will survive this Ashes debacle.